depending on his, what alibi he has. He, once he gets in there and sees who's cooked the books, because you know someone's cooked the books, the books are always cooked, this is Washington, these are, these are the demons in politics. The doo-doo's going to hit the fan, okay? But him dealing with foreign countries, this, he's not blessed by his stars to deal with foreign countries. He will get us into war so because of his mouth and him not being able to control what he says. And that's another thing. I was watching the debate last night, and he was questioned about, you know, he was offending, and I said that about Rosie O'Donnell, but there's actually proof that he said it about other women that he calls them fat pigs and dogs and this and that. Well, I hate to say this, and I'm not trying to be rude, but more than 50% of the American population is obese. So, that being said, a great many American women are obese. <laughs> now, that doesn't matter. In my world, and the way I do things, I never judge someone because I come across all kinds of people, all shapes, sizes, and whether you're, you know, 100 pounds or 200 or 300 pounds, your soul is what's beautiful, and that's what matters. It's it's really sad how he thinks of women. So I don't think he's going to get a whole lot of women votes with this comment. And you know his opponents are going to bring this up and drag him through the mud with this. This this is not this isn't good. Um, it just shows me a person who expects women to look and be a certain way, and um, that's just not going to happen. Not in this day and age. Like I said, they all come in all shapes and sizes. But let's see what happens. Only time will tell, and there are those people in this world that will vote against their own best interests just because he's a Hollywood star, and that's, that's one of them. And Chuck Banks has left, but he was mentioning Jesse Ventura, and yes, you know, that's the person I would vote for. I have said it. Jesse Ventura. He's not running. He may run. He hasn't decided yet. We'll have to wait and see. But that is a person I, I would, would probably vote for because um, for a great many reasons. We're not going to get on the Jesse Ventura thing, but um, that, he would definitely have my vote. Donald Trump. Anything else I've left out on Donald Trump? Let's see. I explained to you that I had the same hidden as him. Let's see. Well, I do notice one thing in his chart. That is, you know, it's, it, it, it's in, when I do readings, nobody ever sees this. This is for the astrologer's eyes only. The chart I'm looking at is not something I'd ever print to the public, but you won't understand what I'm printing. You won't understand what, what I'm doing. But in his chart, he has these sign elements with percentages, and... 33% of his element is fire, which is his ego. 42% is curiosity. And another 25% is intuition, making zero percentage of earth, meaning he has no rationality. And that's not good. We need earth elements for logic and reason and to be rational. And so with that being said, I know this is probably a lot for everyone to digest and take in. But those are the stars and fate of Donald Trump. And only time will tell. All right, let me get to another candidate that I don't hear a lot about in mainstream media. However, he's drawing crowds, and he's drawing crowds in places that people never would have thought he would, would draw a crowd. And he's actually on the West Coast this week, and that is the longest-running senator in our Senate, and that is Senator Bernie Sanders. He's an independent from Vermont. Now, Bernie Sanders was born September 8, 1941, in Brooklyn, New York. And I actually stopped a conservative right in their tracks the other day with this one. And someone had, it was from an article from a, some sort of newspaper, not a very uh, reputable one talking about how he's a Nazi and a socialist, and I kind of laughed 
and I said, you really need to do your history and study your candidates a little better because if you know anything about Bernie Sanders, you know that he comes from Jewish immigrants from Poland whose family was annihilated by the Nazis in Auschwitz. He was a Jewish immigrant from Poland who lost all of his family except for I think his father survived. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. So calling him a Nazi is just absurd. Absurd. Got to get your facts straight, people, before you make comments, because all it does is make you look stupid. And I have no problem making people look stupid. You gotta, you gotta be a fact checker. And, and, you know, and you're right, Chris. You're absolutely right, Christopher. You have to be a fact checker, even if it's painful for you to admit it. Facts are facts, and you have to accept those facts. Now, Bernie Sanders, being a Virgo, Virgos, they're great organizers, and are particularly good at paying attention to fine detail. Every Virgo I've ever met has got these skills, and they're good skills. Now, Mr. Sanders' moon is in Aries, a little bit different from Trump. Big moon is in Aries, and the moon regulates our emotions, like I said. Now, Saunders is the type of guy who needs freedom and self-expression, and he's actually full of new ideas. This is great. He's, I always see him challenging both Democrats and Republicans, and one of the reasons he became the Democratic nominee and didn't stay at an independent, because for any of you who don't know too much about politics, know that third-party candidates get the shaft. You know, you've got to remember, this is a two-headed, one-party system. Democrats and Republicans are a two-headed, one-party system. Remember that. They're part of the evil cabal. They're here to divide and separate you as human beings and not let you think for yourself. They want you to fight amongst each other. And I hate you and you hate me and blah, blah, blah. You're playing right into the game, people. Now, the reason Bernie Sanders had to become democratic and not stay as an independent is because in our political scheme of things, independents are not recognized. And if he went under an independent, he wouldn't be able to debate in the primaries, is my understanding. This is what I was told by someone who is into politics far greater than I am. And that's why he had to do what he had to do. Now he's getting heat from, oh God, who is the guy? Oh, help me, people. He's Democratic. He, he's married to the wife of Hillary. He's married to Hillary Clinton's assistant. He's the guy taking pictures of his crotch. Oh, please. Wiener. Anthony Wiener. Does anybody remember this guy? Anthony Wiener is attacking poor Bernie Sanders. Okay? Anthony Wiener really has no business. <laughs> Talking to anybody. Just... Go play with yourself and shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm amusing myself now with politics. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he also wouldn't hard get hardly any votes. Now, I'm not sure who Chris is talking about with the hardly getting any votes. Um, I'm not sure he's referring to, but I will say this. Mainstream media isn't reporting on Bernie Sanders that much. And I actually am a little worried about his safety. If he gets too popular, I think the Clintons will have him removed. But, however, with Bernie Sanders having this moon in Aries, uh, he, he's got enthusiasm, but sometimes he often lacks patience and perseverance to carry things out through a project alone. Um, he likes to be able to promise great things and not be able to deliver on them when the time arrives. Now, that may be the case in his younger days, but now that he's older and seasoned, I don't think that's the case. Now, he has a Mercury in Libra, and when you have a, this is one of the most beautiful placements in the Zodiac to have, because a Mercury, this is the messenger of the gods. In Libra, the sign of harmony, balance. He's a natural-born mediator. Uh, anybody with a Mercury in Libra is going to be almost someone who deals with conflict resolution all the time, the mediator, the peacekeeper. They're well-balanced, minded, and um, they're, they're very good public speakers, and they're always trying to see both sides of the situation. 
That is a very good placement for a president to have, to be honest with you. You want diplomacy. You don't want a pussy, pardon my French, but, but you know, you do want someone with balls. That's a good placement, though, for any president, whether it's him or someone else. He has a Mars and Aries, and any time, and it's dignified. So when it's dignified, it, it's 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 there. It's they're not the most patient with this placement, and that can therefore can be rash and impulsive. But um, they have a very direct approach to things. They won't BS around. They will get right to the point. Saturn and Taurus, this makes him very cautious, very patient. He concentrates. His willingness to work long and hard to achieve his goals um, will bring great success. That's another positive aspect for a president. And here's the interesting part about Bernie Sanders. When I saw this, I kind of sat there going, wow. Since Bernie Sanders is a Virgo on October 9th, this dragon's energy changes into Virgo, meaning the dragon's head energy is directly on this candidate. If I was Bernie Sanders' personal astrologer, I guarantee you he'd win the election. I'm not his personal astrologer, and he probably thinks I'm batshit crazy, pardon me, French, because he's got a critical mind. But if I was his astrologer, I could show him how to win this election and he would be the next president of the United States. There's a new generation out there that sees things in a very different light than from my generation, people that are older than myself. He is drawing crowds in places you would never think he's drawing crowds. Anyway, this dragon's energy is on him starting October 9th, and it lasts all the way till April 29th of 2017. This is good energy for him. But it is the next dragon's energy that worries me with Bernie Sanders. And I hate to say this, I don't want to say this about him. He better find himself a good vice president, someone that would be able to run the country when he passes on, because... If Bernie Sanders is elected president, I see him as a sacrificial lamb. He will do good for the country. He will care about the people. Whatever bull crap you've heard about him within all these different parties, he is for the working man. He's for the people like my grandfather who worked for the New York um, Transit Authority. He's for myself who is an employee of the school district. He's for the teachers. He's for the police. He's for the firemen. Not, nothing mentioned last night on TV about those people and making better lives for those people. Middle class is dying. It was all about immigration and I know that's a big issue and and if you really look back on politics, immigration started folks with Ronald Reagan back in the 80s. Go do some research and get back to me on it and you'll see what I'm talking about without me having to get into the show about it because like I said, I really hate talk politics, but with Bernie Sanders, when this next dragon's energy shifts and when it shifts on April 29th, 2017 into a Leo Aquarius tail, this is going to be right on his health and service to the world. And so if he does get elected president, I don't think he will be able to finish out his term health-wise. That's if he gets elected president. Like I said, he is the oldest senator in our Senate right now. The longest running senator in our Senate. And he's the independent from Vermont. Um, I have seen him in action, and he does bring really valid points to the table. I've seen him um, have Democrats and Republicans shaking in his boot, their boots. So, who knows? what the, the Jewish man from Vermont might bring, but he does have the stars. Like I said, if I was his personal astrologer, he would win the election. That's not me being arrogant. That's me telling him when to do debates. I would be able to show him on his lucky days and unlucky days. And uh, 
Let's see. He's going to be going against a very powerful block. 